Last time I had financial freedom was probably 2014 when I moved out here. That was the end of it. Seriously, like 2014? What I'm noticing now is a pattern that I've seen being a YouTuber. And it's the same pattern that I see in life, okay? And it's this, this is the pattern. In life, everything is like a pendulum. You know what a pendulum is, right? It's, thing, it's going back and forth, back and forth, swinging. Kind of like a clip, a grandfather clock how it has one of these that goes back and forth like this. So in life, sometimes things go all the way over here. And sometimes things go all the way over here. And they're constantly in flux back and forth, back and forth. Okay? When I started on YouTube, people told me they wanted to see the stories of games as quickly as possible. I was known as the guy who would buy a game on release, play through its story within a day or two, have the entire story up on YouTube, and be on to the next game. That's what I was known for. That's what I was popular for. Because you know when he's black, there's going to be trouble. What the hell? Then, around 2013, 2014-ish, people told me that my method of content was terrible. This is awful because you don't ever show what a real game is. You're only showing a very small, streamlined part of a game, and your rush-through-it mentality skips so much meaningful side content that your playthroughs aren't valid and your reviews are unqualified. So, after getting basically lambasted by the internet, Around that time a decade ago, I said, well, we got we could change. And eventually what I did is I became more of a, a, a metered content creator, balance of side content versus story. Now when I take on an RPG, as long as it's an RPG that I like and I'm finding meaning in the side content, I make an honest effort to do as much as I can. Take a look at Baldur's Gate 3. I've done almost every piece of side content in that game that I found, right? There's a few that I skipped or didn't find too meaningful, but for the most part, I've done almost every major mission structure in the game, right? In Like a Dragon, I was spending upwards of uh, three, three, four, five, six streams in one chapter, because those were the chapters, it's chapter six and eight, where all the side content opens up, and I would spend time just running around doing side content for entire streams, right? <laughs> There's no way this is gonna work because I can't activate it now. Okay, I give up. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm not gonna do it. That's just how different I am today. Now, the funny part about this is, I changed supposedly for the better. But now people say, oh, Phil, the way you play these games, it's too drawn out. You take too long to beat a game. So now because you're taking so long compared to other content creators and streamers, you know, people lose interest. They'll only tune in for a week or two and then they're tired of you playing the same games. Every other content creator has already moved on and played another game. So like on which, so, so, so how do they do that, right? How exactly are they doing that? That's the question. Like how are they, how are they getting through an RPG within two weeks? Because they're rushing. Because literally they're doing what's being suggested to me here. So they boot the game up and they just follow the story. Maybe they'll do a side quest here or there, but they literally barrel through and turbo through a game to try to finish it within that small window of popularity that the game has. Because as soon as the next big game comes out, they jump on that next bandwagon for clickbait views. Like literally that's all it is, is they're jumping from game to game to game to game to game. I gotta play a game, okay, I gotta play this game, gotta rush through it, finish it so I can get to the next game, let's play the next game, gameplay, gameplay, get those gameplay videos out, gameplay videos. They're not taking their time with games like I do. So because of that, what you know, they get through them faster. Essentially what's happened is they've become me from back in the day. When I did that formula back in the day, at first it worked, and then I was told, you're doing it wrong. So I changed, and now that I'm a different kind of person and gamer, people are saying, oh, go back to old Phil. But that's not how it works. When you change and you feel like you've improved for the better, you're not gonna revert back to your old ways. You've already told me to evolve and change, so I did. I'm not gonna revert back to who I was 10, 15 years ago. That's not how life works, right? I compare this to basically back in the day, I used to make 10 minute clips. Why? Because YouTube didn't allow clips longer than 10 minutes, right? So for the longest time, I limited my clips to 10 minutes. Now, eventually people were like, well, now YouTube allows half an hour clips, you should go longer. So I started doing 15 minute to 20 minute clips. 
And I did that for the longest time, right? Then people complained further. Well, we don't get it. Everyone's doing hour long videos or longer and you're still doing 15 minute clips. Why are you such a dinosaur? Why don't you get with the times? So I said, all right, when it makes logical sense to do so, I'll do this. I'm gonna come out with longer videos because this is what people have asked for for ages. So I went from no exaggeration. I went from 20 minute, 25 minute videos to one hour videos. The feedback was, oh, finally. And my views went like this and my revenue went like this. Okay, it all tanked. Eh, maybe a little bit, and now it went So now, <clears throat> come to find out, people have actually been complaining recently, my videos are too long. My one hour long videos of gameplay are just too long. That's too much to put into one video. Bill, why don't you get with the times? Why don't you have more digestible clips that are shorter? I was, what? You mean what I used to fucking do? And you all yelled at me and said that that was the wrong thing to do. So here's what's happening. The trends are like a pendulum. They go back and forth, back and forth, you see? And sometimes this is popular, sometimes this is popular, sometimes you're in the middle. There really is no perfect formula for content creation anymore. It's just, it's all over the place. Now I've done it so long, I've been, into it for 15 plus years, I've seen it go all the way this way, and now it's going all the way back this way. The be the most popular content creators are literally copying what I used to do. They're rushing through games, they're finishing them in record time to get to the next big trend, and they're pumping out shorter videos for more views and more ad revenue. What I used to do, and everyone gave me shit for it. So the question is, what do you want me to do, right? I mean. What exactly would you like me to do? Um, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. I just... <laughs> C0 says, I'd rather watch a playlist of 30-minute segments. I wasn't a fan at that point in time when you changed. Dark Gaming, what you're saying is both true and false. He says, some people upload entire six-hour video on demands. Yes, the lazy ones did. The lazy ones who literally just do their archive streams, but a lot of the top YouTubers or top streamers have editors and they cut up that stream into segments that are like 20, 30 minutes long. So now you can watch it in shorter parts too. They don't just leave a six hour on demand video out there. Although there are some that do and that content is atrocious. I've seen it. Imagine if one in one day, I only put out one video that was six hours long, right? And literally that had the pre-stream music, me coming on stream and doing the podcast, and then three to four hours of gameplay with what breaks in between, it's all one video and that's all I put out. And it's up to you to figure it out, right? You just you just watch it and figure that shit out, right? That's terrible. That's terrible content. That's awful. That's not in any way helping a viewer figure out what, like what if the viewer is there because they care about the game? They don't want to watch your podcast today. Well, you're fucked. You still got to watch the same video. You got to manually skirt through it to find the gameplay portion, correct? <clears throat> You know, that's why I do it this way. I split it up on purpose so that that way you can easily find what you want. You want to watch the podcast? That's its own video. You want to watch the gameplay? Well, it's three own videos and each is titled appropriately so you know what happens in each part. Each has an individual thumbnail and they're in a playlist. Easy to find. Like my, my stuff, quite frankly, all right, is very simple. It's actually some of the most well-organized, best managed content on YouTube. <laughs> The problem is I'm a negative meme and no one cares, right? That's the problem. If I weren't a negative meme that everyone just rags on, people would come to the channel and be like, everything you hear is so not nice and neat. I can find the show from every day in a, in a playlist. I can find this. It's look at this. The title's well done. Look at this. The problem is no one cares about the content because everyone just thinks I'm a joke. I just find it hilarious that I watch other content creators and their content is not well organized. It's not even easily digestible or watchable. It's like a work to get to fucking get to what you want to watch. Like we've watched playthroughs from other content creators and it's like, okay, this is part, literally it'll be like, uh, I'll just throw out a name there. Detroit Become Human part 10. And that's it. Doesn't say what's in the video. Doesn't say what happens in the in the gameplay for that day, nothing. You, Chris Play, they're just sitting there in a chair talking to their audience for an hour. Who the fuck wants to see that? You named the video Detroit Become Human. Cheer, I said, wouldn't it be weird if androids could grow facial hair? Now, why would that be weird? Does not compute. <laughs> error, error, error. You guys didn't know I'm an android? What do we want? Sex with androids. What do we want? Now, wait, oh, oh, ban android. Why the fuck is this in this on-demand video? It doesn't make any sense. You know? Now you gotta fucking skip through, skip through. I don't care about what the fuck you were doing on the particular day seven years ago. Get the fuck out of here. Get to the content. And you finally get to where the game starts. 
and has wow it only took me like 25 minutes to get to the fucking part i wanted to watch wow that's great and these are people more popular than me but no one gives them shit why because they're not negative memes on the internet i am it, i work my ass off to try to improve <clears throat> and give you guys the better content and i feel like my content's better the way it's organized the way the, the length the, the the titling the thumbnail the playlist the quality of, of the content itself the fact that i do paper machete machete you're a moron i'm not doing that right now this is a fucking live stream you idiot i'm talking about the on-demand content what a fucking moron oh you oh you're right you will take the ban you're absolutely right you will take the ban you'll take the ban hard right in your fucking ass get the fuck out you're doing that right now duh. No fucking moron. This is this is a live broadcast. Of course, there's going to be different content in the live broadcast. I break it up on purpose so you can find it later. That's what I'm talking about. God, you're dumb. It's like saying I'm watching live TV and there's too much of uh, stuff jumbled together. Well, yeah, on live TV, you're going to have your show. You're going to have commercials in between. You're going to have different shows shifting around in a live broadcast. You're watching live TV. That's what you deal with. Same thing on a live stream. I'm talking about on demand. The fact that you can't even understand that, but you got to yell in my stream to act like you're smarter than me. It just shows what a fucking dunce you are. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, basically, uh, I, I, I do my best. And I bend over backwards to make my content better than what these other people are doing. And then everyone just says, my content's crap anyway. So at this point, I don't really give a shit. I'll listen to the feedback of those who are actual, like, positive viewers and want improvement. But for the most part, no, I'm not going to rush through a game in one weekend just to get it done so then you can go back and finish the other games but then you can go back and do side content later i'm not doing that we'll play it today we'll go focus on Baldur's gate and like a dragon let's finish them and then we'll come back and we'll focus on dragon's dogma 2 you know i'm not going to be one of these guys chasing glory of beating the game in a few days like i used to do i've been there done that to be quite frank it wasn't that great it actually became more of a chore to do it that way because you never really know how long a game is, and you think you know, and then you try to schedule out, oh, I'm going to beat this game in three days, and then the next game starts then, and the next game starts then, and then it doesn't work that way, and then your whole thing gets screwed up. And also, quite honestly, um, it disappoints me <clears throat> when I miss a lot of content these days. You know, Back then, I didn't care. My attitude was just pump out maximum videos. Why? Because I didn't really care. To be honest, like I just, it was more about quantity over quality. Today, I'd much rather have quality over quantity. I think the reason that a lot of people stick with me and support me is because of that. If I just went back to old Phil pumping out endless videos to rush through games, I don't think people would care that much. I think people would be like, oh, he's gone back to his old shit and we don't want to watch that anymore, right? So please keep uploading to YouTube. Okay, but what I'm kind of telling you guys now is I need to make a living and I'm making nothing on the YouTube videos. So what this means is that I need you guys who are avid watchers, who are longtime fans of mine and who love my YouTube content to please step up and support the effort. How? The primary way you can is to go to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil and pledge today. As little as a dollar helps, okay? I've been saying this ever since I opened my Patreon three years ago. People are like, oh, I can't make a significant impact. A dollar a month actually helps and adds up, all right? The bottom line is, if you look at the amount of